On this episode of The Atlanta Maker, we build the Space Shuttle Discovery. Many of us have wondered about the quality of the design of the month files that we get as part of the Glowforge Premium subscription. Since I'm a space and aviation buff, I figured let's go ahead and print this month's design and give it a quick review. Remember, if you are a Glowforge Premium subscriber, this file is free, but you have to download it during the month of November to get it in your library. You also get a commercial use license with the file, so you can print and sell as many of this model as you'd like. It will download into your library as four separate projects, two full sheets for the shuttle and related parts, as well as a sheet for the launch pad display and another sheet for an ac acrylic display. I chose to print it using some Glowforge medium draft board that I had on hand, but the instructions said it's designed for medium thickness plywood, so most 1 8 inch stock should be usable. The instructions say it's about a 4 hour project with about 2 hours of laser time and 2 hours of assembly time, and I found that to be pretty accurate at least on my 40 watt Glowforge Plus with draft board. You can find the instructions by going to the Design Details option under the three dots menu in the Glowforge UI. Let's send the files to the Glowforge and get this shuttle ready for launch. It was a bit tedious pulling off all the masking, but the assembly went very smooth, although there were a couple errors in the instructions with incorrect part numbers, but they were easy to navigate through. I only needed glue for the last three parts of the assembly, as nearly all of the parts snapped together quite well and held together tightly. It's a bit pricey if you're not a Glowforge Premium member, but after putting this together it's become one of my favorite builds since I bought the laser. So if you are a space or aviation buff, it may be worth the purchase for yourself. I know most of us make boxes and flat objects like signs and ornaments, but I'm really amazed at the curves and shapes that can be created with flat cut laser pieces, and the detail is pretty darn good too as the cargo bay doors open up and there is even a little satellite in the cargo bay. The designer of this file should really be commended for such a great high quality model, and I'm excited to see what the next design of the month model is now. Well that's it for today. If you like this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing for more great laser content. See you next time.